You and me. You and me. Vessels on an open sea. You and me. I want to be there with you, to see it all within you, becoming part of everything. Item number SCP-5005 Object Class Thaumiel Special Containment Procedures Procedures for containment of SCP-5005 are currently undecided due to the widespread and prolific nature throughout society. It's currently estimated that 25% of the American population compose the single instance of SCP-5005-A. Instances of SCP-5005 are to be monitored, as well as subsequent additions to the instance of SCP-5005-A. Containment Procedure Revision Due to the extremely destructive, yet sparing and defensive nature of SCP-5005-B, SCP-5005's object class has been updated from Keter to Thaumiel. Description SCP-5005 is the collective designation given to a large number of markings on the right palm of individuals in association with the Fifthist Church. The marking itself is a lavender-colored glyph in the shape of a pentagram with a large, simplistically drawn eye in the center. Individuals who possess SCP-5005 have a dual cognition and subconscious shared cognition and precognitive reflexes that allow for instantaneous, psychic instinctive communication amongst members of the Collective. The Collective hereby designated SCP-5005-A. Members of SCP-5005-A are perpetually, consciously, and subconsciously aware of all physical and mental states of most members, often causing severe manic episodes, severe personality dysphoria, gender dysphoria, paranoid schizophrenia, depression, suicidal thoughts, and every known form of anxiety, all of which can only be remedied by one or 5005-A members engaging in the act of locking both hands with a designated partner. Pairs are non-gender specific, meaning two males, two females, or a male and female could be a pair. Upon the act of locking both hands, the pair enter a trance-like cataleptic state in which they remain in a state of perpetual eye contact for approximately five hours. During this state, individuals ignore all outside stimulus, including those that are life-threatening, although they have been observed to frequently vocalize to each other. All phrases are reassuring, encouraging, and slash or endearing in nature. Observed phrases include, I'm here for you, and I love you. And furthermore, it's just you and me now, everything's gonna be okay. After five hours has passed, individuals will go their separate ways and behave as if they do not possess SCP-5005 for 48 hours. Individuals whose partner has expired will be in a state of severe distress, often leading them looking and pleading for a new partner amongst individuals in the collective of SCP-5005-A. All requests for a new partner are denied. Approximately five days after denial, the individual will be found dead in their own home, apparently expired due to spontaneous dehydration. However, there is an exception to the rule of denial. If an individual requests to be partners with an individual who has also lost their partner, they will continue to coexist peacefully as if they were a normal pair. Further studies have shown that there appears to be a single consciousness that inhabits the body of at least one individual in SCP-5005-A. This consciousness is given the designation SCP-5005-B. SCP-5005-B is normally recognizable by the fact that it typically inhabits the bodies of elderly women, typically 85 plus in age, as well as being in possession of two instances of SCP-5005 on both hands. SCP-5005-B possesses a kind, motherly, yet authoritative nature, calling itself the captain of this vessel. Despite the typically advanced age of SCP-5005-B, it is incredibly strong and possesses level 4 ontokinetic abilities, being able to reverse the trajectory of bullets, as well as crumpling an entire fighter jet without even making physical contact. SCP-5005-B is extremely protective and territorial over SCP-5005-A. Any outside individuals attempting to harm SCP-5005-A will be swiftly exterminated by SCP-5005-B via spontaneous removal of all bodily water content. In the event that SCP-5005-A is a great amount of distress, the entire SCP-5005-A collective will assume the consciousness of SCP-5005-B, becoming a hive mind composed entirely of level 4 ontokinetic abilities. SCP-5005-B is often called High Priestess Titania, Mother Titania, 
or Captain Titania, by SCP-5005-A individuals. The SCP-5005-A collective possesses no other anomalies or properties than those found in SCP-5005-A. The SCP-5005-A collective possesses no other anomalies or properties than those found in SCP-5005-A. No other anomalous properties and behave as though they are non-anomalous civilians with severe mental health issues. SCP-5005-B is completely non-hostile unless provoked by harm inflicted upon the SCP-5005-A collective.